Okay, so, so much has happened in just the last three weeks. So, about three weeks ago I had a meltdown, absolute meltdown. One night I was going to bed and my mind was just flooded with all these thoughts, all these thoughts of lack that I've had my whole entire adult life. When it comes to money, there has always been a lack of. There, you know, there's, there's always these thoughts of there isn't enough, okay? And so I've spent the last three weeks, and this is my block, okay? But then just use it as an example in your life because your block or where you find that you can't seem to move forward, where you're stuck, I call it a block, okay? You're blocked in that area and you can't seem to move forward with it. For you, it may be relationships or for you, it may be your health. It's, there are so many different areas of your life that you can feel stuck, that you can feel blocked, like you can't move forward. You always seem to get to a certain point and then you go back again. It's like one step forward and two steps back. That's what it feels like. And so in this video, I just wanted to share because I just had this moment of clarity after that night of the meltdown. And in the last few videos, if you've been watching the last six or seven videos that I made, I got to a point that that night, I remember waking up in the morning thinking, I've had enough. I don't want to have these thoughts anymore. I've had enough. I've had my whole entire adult life governed by these thoughts of lack and these thoughts of there is not enough money. And because of these thoughts that have been stuck in my subconscious for so long and I haven't looked at them and I haven't addressed them, is that I haven't been able to get unstuck. But then I had a moment of absolute elimination after that meltdown and waking up the next day thinking, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I've had enough. And my husband is funny. He says that's one of the things he admires the most about me is that, you know, I, I'm one of those people that decides, oh, I've had enough of that. I'm not doing that anymore. You know, like um, when we first met for a little, for a few years there, I was smoking. And I think I was a smoker for about mm, three or four years while we were together because at that time everyone was smoking in the office. So I thought, well, what's the point of being a passive smoker? I might as well buy my own cigarettes and smoke myself, right? We're talking over 30 years ago, everybody used to smoke inside. It's very different to what it's like now. But then I used to suffer a lot from bronchitis. The whole time through, I'd be at the doctors, you know, three, four times a year with this awful bronchitis, you know? And so even the doctor kept saying, why do you keep coming back if you're still smoking, you know? So one morning I just woke up and thought, that's it, I've had enough, I'm not smoking anymore. And just like that, I just quit. And so he always says he admires that so much that when I've had enough of something, I just cut it off and move on to the next chapter. So that morning after my meltdown, that is what happened. But it happened with these thoughts of lack. All of a sudden, I really, really started to look at them and how my mind has been working all of these years. We're talking 30 years of my adult life of having these thoughts of lack, of having these thoughts of not enough money. And as I've said in a previous video, I haven't gone in my life. I have never been a day without food. I have never been a day without clothes that I suffer because I'm cold, because I don't have enough clothes to keep me warm. I've never had a day that I've had to sleep on the street because I don't have a roof over my head. I have had everything in my life. I've had food every day. I've had clothes. I've had shelter everything I could possibly need to be comfortable, I've had. So where do these thoughts come from that create this worry and this stress and this fear that I'm going to lose everything, that I won't be able to pay for something or I won't be able to manage financially? And then it hit me, it hit me 
like this massive truck just came straight at me and hit me and I thought wow as a kid growing up the only conversations around money because apparently you know in my household money was an adult subject it wasn't something to discuss around children in the eyes of my parents okay so to them that was their belief that money is an adult subject it's not something for children it's, that's a separate thing but when there were conversations amongst my mum and my dad or any of the adults actually now that I recall any of the adults in my life as I was growing up the conversations were always about there isn't enough money we can't afford that it's too expensive money doesn't grow on trees you know and so when you're hearing these conversations over and over and over again in your childhood and then not only that but each Sunday we'd go to church and at church of course they teach that money is the root of all evil that only evil people have money it's bad to have money so on top of living with the lack of there isn't enough we can't afford it <laughs> It's too expensive. On top of living with that at home every day, there was this weekly session with the church to say that it's not good to have money. And so the following morning when I woke up from that last meltdown that I said to myself, I've had enough of these thoughts because I couldn't understand why I keep having them. I've never lost anything. <laughs> I've never ended up losing the house. I've never lost anything of great importance for me to be worried that there isn't enough money to, for me to keep this pattern of lack going. I've always had everything. So I realized that morning after I said, I'm not doing this anymore, I've had enough of it, that all of that was dumped into my subconscious by the adults around me, by the church. The block that I've created my whole adult life but all these beliefs and everything that was dumped on me as a child you know weeks and weeks and months and months of this repeated language around money this negative energy around money and that's what I took into my adult life so I want you to think about that today I really want you to think about it if there is a thought there's a pattern that keeps repeating itself over and over in your mind whether it's happened or it hasn't happened maybe you have lost the house maybe you haven't been able to pay the bills maybe it has gone to that extreme you've taken it to that extreme but I want you to sit back with it today and I want you to really look at it where did it come from where did your block come from? Because yours might be relationships. So what pattern was repeated over and over and over again in your childhood that seeped very slowly into your subconscious and then you've carried that into your adult life? That's what I want you to think about today. All those beliefs that were passed down by the adults around you that you carry with you they're not even yours, but you carry them with you. And you create your life. You create everything that comes into your life from those beliefs. They're stopping you, they're blocking you from moving forward. So today I want you to really look at them. Look at them for what they are. All right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.